What is going on, Vape Trainers? Welcome to another episode of All You Need to Know. I'm actually going to continue this series. Um, we're going to be starting off with the Mammoth because of the T TLC3 update, so stay tuned. We'll get to it, and thank you for a thousand subscribers. All right, Vape Trainers, so... We're going to be covering this bad boy right here now after the tlc3 update there have been some additions to it um they actually have a lot more function instead of just being a badass wood farmer um find them in the wild and you kill them you get you know keratin hide pelt um raw meat and prime meat all really good stuff now they're really slow like, if you have decent movement speed, you can knock out a Mammoth with no problem. Now, this one is not a very high level, but we're going to go over it, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and tag this guy. Now, you notice how it does 43 damage? Well, its new little roar actually reduces your the damage you can deal. So, now I'm dealing 35. So, keep that in mind whenever you're trying to do the calculations of how to knock one of these bad boys out. Maybe uh, build a trap, but you can... You can kite these guys around with no problem. That's that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to try to make sure not to aggro anything else. Yeah, their little roar they do is pretty nice now. You can use that for many things, especially on bosses or PvP and stuff. Just get them to roar and reduce people's damage. Now, these guys are actually really easy to tame. Um, they take superior kibbles, so if you're not to that point yet, then it's probably not the best of ideas. Um... Let's see. Let's go over the saddle, all right? So, Mammoth Saddle. You can learn it at level 31. It takes 18 Ingram points. It takes 145 or 260 hide, and 10 metal ingots. Not bad considering the fact that you're literally building a uh, a boost to your, your, your pack there. Because they, they have a lot of new... A lot of new abilities, which we'll go over in just a minute. As you can tell, super easy to knock them out. They are fantastic. They're still really amazing wood gatherers. They do a 75% weight reduction on wood. Um, that's, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some superior kibble. And uh, yeah, we'll tame this bad boy up. Alrighty, folks. So we're back in my base. We're going over. We're going to go over exactly what kibble you need to tame these. Now, anything higher than superior kibble will work perfectly fine. Like you can use, you know... What is it? Exceptional and uh, Extraordinary. Like, you can use either one. Um, either one will tame them the best they can. Um, but the lowest preferred kibble is going to be Superior. So, you need two Citronol. You need one Dinosaur Egg. Uh, dinosaur Eggs, I think, are, like, large, if I remember correctly. Uh, fiber, Prime Meat Jerky, two Rare Mushrooms, and some Sap. So, we're going to go ahead and craft up about 100 of these because I didn't have... I didn't have any available, so I, I, I thought it's a good idea to get it crafted. So while this crafts, y'all sit back and relax. I'll be back. All right, folks, so we've got our kibble. We've got a saddle made and everything. So if you haven't seen my, my new Taming HUD video, uh, go ahead and check it out over here. It really does explain as much as I can. I didn't realize that it kept track of all the things you have tamed, which is weird because I, I don't really need that, but it does at least, you know, I mean, I guess it'll help you track where your dinos are. I thought it just disappeared off the list whenever you were done taming it. But you got the wild female mammoth, level 50. Um, pretty well starved, so we're going to go ahead and go feed it right now. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out. I really don't like that there, Zeno, being there. What level are you? We'll, we'll, we'll just make sure I don't have to deal with it there. Dude. There was, you know, suck. Break your armor real quick. It's not worth my time. Alright. So, let's pop on over here to this mammoth. Let's do it. So, I've got 100 superior kibble. I'm just going to chuck that stuff. So, it shouldn't take much to tame this, considering that, I mean, of course I'm on a boosted server. By the way, if you want a good cluster to play on, come join us on arcsurvivalism.com. We've got almost every single map, and we'd love to have y'all here. 
Now, finding mammoths in the wild is actually really easy. Basically, anywhere where there's a snow biome, you can find them. They're everywhere. Um, a lot of the times they're getting attacked by a giant pack of wolves and everything. Now, they change the like a little bit of the look of the mammoth. Like, it looks a little less stupid than it did. But there's still, like, you know, spikes and stuff on the tusk, looking all fancy. Now, we're going to go ahead and pop the saddle on. Now, this is a very special saddle. So, if you notice, it now has a drum on the back of it. So, you can actually access the drum on the back of it by going in here and going to passenger seats, board drum platform. Now, what the drum is there for is it actually gives a buff. Now, you see the radius, the little red line that goes around? That is telling me that anything that I own within that area is actually going to get this buff. Now, this buff increases stam regen and makes it makes it so creatures you buff are not going to get affected by fear. So if you're fighting UDs or anything like that and you're worried about doing the fear call, you don't have to worry about it. So it's like it's a constant progression here. You just have to hit the exact same spot over and over and over again. Which, I mean, yeah, that's kind of cool, but I was hoping for something a little bit more challenging on that, but I'm pretty sure if you're using this in the middle of a battle or something like that, you're not going to be, like... <laughs> you're you're, you're going to be really focused on other things. Like, oh god, I'm getting shot! But yeah, so, got this hole going. Uh, if you notice by the boot buff down there, it says, Ready for war, recover stamina, and immune to fear. Um, at the same time... When you are riding the actual mammoth, the mammoth itself has its own um, actual like buff, or it, it's a debuff, because any small creatures close by, it debuffs them. So let's see, is there anything close by? I know there's a... Yeah, okay, so you see the red sparkles on that uh, otter down there? So the otter is now deal going to deal reduced damage to the mammoth or to anything as long as it is debuffed. Just like whenever I was trying to knock it out, it debuffed me. Um, the mammoth also now has a wonderful grab attack. So <laughs> that otter that I just grabbed is now grabbed up in my tusk and I can chuck it. Bye otter. Is it angry now? It's probably eight. <laughs> so, it has the sweep attack. It has the stomp attack, which it can do either side. Otter, you got a problem? Yeah, that's what I thought. You stop that. It also has this really nifty thing. Like, let's say you're fighting a bunch of things where they are... Uh... Like you're fighting some wyverns or something like that, and you're on the back of your mammoth, and your mammoth is on fire, you can actually turn around and you use the uh, the C key, which is normally to do the debuff, which it still does the debuff, but if you're in water, it'll spray you down with water, which restores your water. It also takes off like flame attacks and stuff like that. So the mammoth is still ridiculously awesome. Like, I mean, before it was pretty decent, but now it actually has more purpose. So you can use it in PvP battles, you can use it for gathering stuff. Now, I know there's a difference in between the attacks here, so let, let, let's go let's go and check those out, okay? Otter, you're coming with me. Yep, you're coming with me. So while you have something held in your, in your tusk, you can actually attack it. It, do, it deals about the same as the normal swipe damage. So, you can grab yourself a beaver. Now, the things that you're holding can attack you back. So, keep that in mind. Alright, hurry up and die. Die! Alright. So, you have... Mammoths can collect berries and then seeds and everything else. Uh, if I remember correctly, the stomp attack does, the, does a very large AoE. So let, let's see. Let's do it over here. Boom! Apparently the stomp is actually really good for gathering wood, and the swipe is for doing berries, and apparently taking off more otters. Dude, otter, no one cares about you. Well wait, my otters are better anyways. 
Now, they level up health pretty well. Um, a lot of the times you run into an issue with stamina, um, you'll run out of that pretty quickly. Now, because of the fact that they gather wood and thatch and everything pretty well, um, it's a really good harvesting dino. So, if you're just doing the regular uh, swipe attack, you get more thatch, and if you're dealing the stomp attack, you get, let's see, we gotta mosey on over here. You do the stomp attack, you get a buttload of wood. Stomp attack, 255 from a level 82 mammoth with 200% melee. That's not bad at all. And the great thing is, is the fact that they changed it up between the attacks now. So my biggest thing was, is whenever I was out farming with a mammoth, I had to worry about, you know, emptying my inventory over and over again because I would be, you know, bogged down by all the berries and everything I was getting before. Now, they've made it two separate attacks, like what they used to do with the, uh, like what they did with the Ancleo a while back. Ancleo used to be able to gather berries and metal at the same time, instead they switched it up to doing two attacks. So, now you don't have to worry about your inventory being drastically overfilled within no time flat, you know? But yes, they also do a 75% weight reduction on wood. So, let's see. Look at that. 200 wood only weighs 25 pounds. That's not bad at all. You run around and just completely just mass farm wood with no problem now. Especially if you're taming a high enough level uh, mammoth. It'll be fantastic. Like, just ridiculous wood farming. I mean, it's doing pretty good on the thatch as well, but honestly, the wood is the wood is where it shines. Now, you could also construct, like, a trap somewhere somewhat like this. This one's not really big enough. This is only a 2x2. Two, two two. I would suggest doing a 3x3 three three run trap, and you can run your mammoth right up in there and tame it that way, especially if you want to get out of range of its debuff so that you can actually do full damage and torpor to it. It's probably my best suggestion on that. Especially if it's a high level, because you don't wanna you don't wanna, you know skip out on doing things the right way when you're taming a max level. Because we all want max points, max health, max everything, max taming effectiveness, and that's what you're shooting for. Now of course folks, we don't want to miss out on the other part of what you need to know about these bad boys. So, they're breeding times. Now, they're mammals, hence, you know, being mammals. So, they go through gestation time. So, with, if you are on an official server, I can't really say the official amount, because, you know, everything's been changing on rates and stuff. So, they mate like just every other dino out there, but they also, let's see, let's see what the Wikipedia says. So, they say it takes seven hours, almost eight hours of gestation time. Um, they'll be a baby for eight hours about eight, hour, eight hours and 13 minutes or something like that. Basically, they take a grand total of about like three to five days to breed, which is not the case here on our servers. Like we, we've got higher rates than that. that. That's not good. Now, of course they eat berries. Oh my God. Insects are coming for me. Quiet on. Yeah, so, okay. So they're breeding right now. They, they don't take too long to breed. I mean, they're, they've are they got the agar buff and everything, and they still take a little bit, but really? Really? No. Bad insects weren't. So, they can grab things, they can throw things, they can spray you down with water, they can debuff your enemy, buff up your allies, and then they breed. So breeding, gestation time, takes a long time. It always does. It always does. Especially if you're going on official rates, always takes a long time. So let, let, let's see what the rates, how different the rates are here on the Ark Survivalism servers. So I'm pretty sure we've got, we were like double rates for a bit. And then after they did the most recent update where they just double the double raids that they did for official servers i think we're a little bit faster now we're gonna find that out whenever it's done mating they're very useful mammoths are amazing um and now they actually really have a battle use which they didn't really before i mean honestly 
I, I would have never thought about possibly taking a mammoth into a boss fight or into a PvP battle if it was like, I don't know, desperate? Like, just desperate, oh man, I need something, you know. But whenever it comes down to it, here on the Ark Survivalism servers, it takes an hour for it to do... Eh, leave me alone! Sorry. Ein. Downfall about being in the bog biome. Oh yeah, so it takes an hour here. And they end up coming out as little tiny cute mammoths and everything. So it's really nice. Now y'all make sure to come back and see me again. I'll try to make sure that this video has like specific points you can go to. Make sure to watch it all the way through. Smash the like button. Hit the sub button as well. Come check us out on arcsurvivalism.com. And remember folks, keep on surviving. <laughs>